Hi guys, it's Friday morning and I'm finishing up my new arrival video for y'all. I'm going to try to get that out here in just a few minutes. I uh, wanted to update you on what we're doing, a new format. I hope you like it and if you do, let us know. If you don't, let us know too because we wanted to make this special for you. I'm going to go ahead and narrate this video rather than just do it all to the music and let you read. Uh, hopefully you find some value in that and if you do, let me know. Uh, enjoy and we'll talk back soon. Here we got Lemon Oscars. I'm going to go ahead and dictate this week rather than do silent on the new arrival, so I hope you enjoy this part. These are the Lemon Oscars for $15. Here we have Medium Angels that I got from a local breeder, and they're mixed in with uh, Pearl Golds that I promised you guys last week. That came in this week. The Pearl Gold, some of them are a pretty long finned. The medium, some of them are silver, and some of them are more that leopard color. Uh, Ten bucks on both the pearl golds and the mediums. And right next door we have the kois. Got a couple of the gold marbles left and one of the dark marbles too. Kois have a lot of great color and they're seven dollars. Great price on those guys. Hiding back there we've got one of the long fin blue-eyed ancestress or the bushy nose. These guys are pretty small. And get them fed up a little bit. Uh, I got them small so we could bring them to you cheaper than we've had them in the past. They're only $15 for these guys. Again, the long fin blue eyed uh, albino bushy nose. That's a long name for a little fish. Next door, got a nice group of the short fin guys. And they're cheaper. They're $13 and bigger, twice as big. And you can see they got the nice blue eyes. So those are albino blue eyed ancestress or bushy nose. We got the albino channel cats and the blue channel cats stuck inside in the pond. I don't know if you can see any of the blue channel cats, kind of hard to see against the black. There's some right there. But, uh, the feeder comets and the channel cats in the inside pond, just because they're small enough, they'd be hard for me to catch in the outside ponds. I also have a good selection of the really large trapdoor snails and the white wizard snails. Uh, just five bucks on the channel cats this year, uh, at least for this group. They came in pretty cheap. Uh, five bucks on the giant trapdoor snails and four bucks on the white wizards. Five for a dollar on the feeders, as always. Got a few of these silver tip tetras left over from the special order somebody brought in. Actually, got another tank's got a couple too. Uh, enough to grab an order. Uh, these guys are three dollars each but most importantly i'll remind you guys that if there's ever anything you're looking for let me know because if i don't have it i probably can get it and special orders are actually quite easy remember uh, let me know by monday morning what you're after and i'll confirm what we can get and we'll have it here usually by wednesday As we encourage special orders uh, it's actually one of the fun things that we get to do so if you have something you're looking for, whether it's really common or really rare, we're happy to help you find it. Pseudomagill rainbow's got to be one of the hardest fish in the world to film. If you get good film of them, it's totally worth it because they're so cool. Let's see if I can get that one in focus there. It's kind of hanging out. There's one right there. That's pretty focused, actually. Now these guys are about three quarters of an inch long, so still pretty small. Not showing a lot of color yet, but when they get up to about an inch long, they're totally worth their five dollars. Uh, actually, I think that's really cheap for a pseudomagill. Uh, also in this tank is uh, neon green rasporas, which are another favorite little nano fish as well. Uh, those guys are three dollars, just in case we're checking. They're not new this week, but we're here anyway. Here we got some blue neocaridinus, nice blue shrimp. These are from a local breeder right here in the Tri-Cities. It's got a colony that's doing really well. I'm excited to bring you some shrimp that are actually bred in our water. It's a little easier for you to take them home. Uh, these guys are regular price at $6 for blue neos. There's also the yellow ones. Those aren't colds. Those are yellows in there too. Those are so they're five dollars on the yellows. Here we have a plant I couldn't pronounce and we'll give you a, a butchered Latin, a didapilus or didapilus or something like that, a diandra. It's 
group of these guys that kind of look like a rotala. They've got the nice needly leaves and some red when they've got enough light to keep them going. A uh, nice bushy looking plant. I'm excited to see how this grows out. And that's just $5 on that guy. These are the St. Elmo's fire swords. Look at the bright red foliage coming out of the center of that. These guys are busting out of their little tiny pots. Um, nice big plant. We listed them on the unboxing video at $15 when I was looking them up. We actually put them on sale for $10 last time, and I'll go ahead and do that again for this week. Uh, $10 for the St. Elmo's Fire Swords, and while we're at it, we'll go ahead and put the extra large swords and that big radican back there on sale for $10 too, uh, just because I can. Here's Java Fern. You guys all know this guy. I've been having a little bit of a hard time getting it. I've got a half a dozen of these guys. already sold some of it. Uh, I think I listed it at seven on the unboxing, but these guys are going to actually go for uh, just five. Let's, uh, snag that deal. Here's another local deal we came across. Somebody local uh, had an accidental breeding of these tangerine crays. And we've grown out a bunch of the babies, and they're looking pretty awesome. And put them on sale. Well, their normal price is 20 bucks on the tangerines, but we got them on sale for 10 bucks this week. If you want the, and we got one big guy still, but then we've got several of the smaller ones. See the one? It's a great deal at 10 bucks. Here we've got a new batch of African dwarf frogs. Nice and fat and happy. Look at those guys. I absolutely love African dwarf frogs. That's why we featured them in our story time video this week. Here's some more. More new bettas this week. Got some awesome half moons. Look at that guy. We had some overstock that had to go in a cup for a day or two until we get a spot for them opened up. So here we got a whole bunch of really awesome half moons. Can't see that guy very well. Maybe I can move him here for you. There he is. Still kind of dark though. Can I lighten it up? Maybe. There we are. Look blue with the red fins. Gorgeous fella. Another light colored guy. Let's turn him. Half moons are $13. Continued that special on half moons. This guy doesn't want to show off, but he's gorgeous. Yellowy white with blue. And another blue body red fins. Here we got some really nice Dumbo bettas. Look how big his ears are. Again, we got overstock from this week because I keep buying more bettas and you guys keep buying them. Let's see if I can lighten that up so you can see his body color a little better. The backlight, he's blue, got a little red edging and the white ginormous Dumbos. There's that guy there. He's big too. Another darker colored guy. Kind of shorter fins on these Dumbos. But huge, huge pectoral fins. And another big Dumbo. Blue, black head with a big white ears. So insane. And another darker colored guy with blue. A little bit of pink in the fins though. There's a good view on him. Oh, I got the filter instead. There. I can see the pink in his tail a bit. And there we can see that guy. Nice and blue with a little bit of pink. Great big ears. There's one of those leftover amazing females from last week's order. It's a little bit camera shy. If she'll come down where we can see her. Absolutely amazing half moon female. There she is. Female, she almost looks like a placat. I guess it's possible. Sometimes that happens where we'll get uh, placats shipped as females. Either way, gorgeous fish. Nice big ladies. And sparkly colors in her, so nice. They're absolutely gorgeous too. I got a couple of these crowns that look like this. Amazing flowy fins. All the reds and blues. It's patriotic, red, white, and blue. 
Here I have a blue placat. This was a locally bred one. He's $13, but we'll put him on sale because I need the spot to put some of those half moons in. See if I can lighten him up. He's really gorgeous and healthy. I darkened him and so lightly. There's a gorgeous fella. Now let's put him on sale instead of 13 we'll do. Uh, 650. I'll do him for half. We've had him. That's last one of Kate's babies. So he's been here since Christmas time. I think he's down here in the bottom. He gets overlooked. I forget to tell people about him. He's really a nice fella. He was a bitty baby when he came in. Here we got our guppies from this week. These are Japanese blue and Japanese red guppies. I guess I don't really know what makes them Japanese. If anybody knows, feel free to let me know in the comments. Totally cool looking little guppy. Look how kind of purple those guys are. And these guys. With the blue in the body and red in the fins. They're pretty too. A little bit of variability. Like uh, that guy's got a little red in the fins. So, super cool guppies for this week. Alright, I'm sure these guys film pretty well even with the glare. You can see how nice these Agons are. They're the $25 7 inch Agons. Of course also in there we have a whole mess of 3 inch Butterfly Koi and a few of the 5 inch or 4 to 5 inch Shabunkans. The Agons are 25, the Shabunkans and the Butterfly koi are eight. Some of those butterfly koi are really nice size for that. Uh, all of them came in looking pretty good. There's a group of the three inch standard koi or the fancy koi. These guys come in at six dollars. Nice little group. Uh, fish are ready to go in your pond. Well, what did you think of the new format? It was kind of fun to go through and tell you everything I had to say about that. And if you found value in it, let me know. First way to let me know, of course, is to mash that like button. And if you subscribe and let us know that you're going to be back next week, we'll know that you liked it. And if you comment and tell us what parts you did like and what worked for you, that also helps us. Because we're constantly trying to make these things better for you. It's not for my benefit. It's so that you all can see what's going on. Uh, here because with everything that's going on out there it's just not going to be possible anytime soon to let people inside the shop I apologize for that I've been asked that question probably 50 times a day for the last three months you know when are you going to be able to be open and the real answer is I just don't know uh, but we are going to be open for curbside for the foreseeable future and uh, anything that you need just let us know we'll be here for you